Good evening, I'm Tim Callahan. And I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. Three new lawsuits are scheduled to be filed today in connection to a sexual misconduct case involving North High School's athletic equipment manager. Edwin Rodriguez was charged and arrested two weeks ago, facing eight felony counts of lewd or lascivious acts with a child 14 to 15 years old. Today, additional claims will be filed on behalf of three students who were also victims of Rodriguez. These lawsuits will be filed against Rodriguez, the Kern High School District, North High School's principal, North High School's Dean of Students, and North High Intervention Coordinator April Anderson. An important traffic alert for you if you're headed towards Highway 178. The highway currently closed through the Kern River Canyon due to a rock slide. There's no estimated time for that road to reopen. Detours, though, include driving down the east side into the Kern Desert, but with flash flooding from the base of the mountains out to Ridgecrest region, travel through that area is not recommended. Well, check this out. This is the scene on Buck Owens this morning. City crews on scene after the rain flooded streets in the area of Buck Owens and Gilmore Avenue just by the boulevard. For updated information on all road closures and weather delays, be sure to head to our website, turn to 23.com. The atmospheric river event that made its way through the county yesterday definitely did not disappoint. We got more than an inch of rain here in Bakersfield and even more in the mountains, but this system is pushing off to our south and we are tracking yet another system that is going to be bringing scattered showers beginning Thursday evening, but as we head into the early morning hours Friday, any of that precipitation falling in the mountains is going to be falling as snow down to 3,000 feet. So that does bring up tricky driving conditions over the grapevine. So that's something that we'll be tracking as we head into the rest of your week. That's your latest news and weather. You can find the top stories anytime at turn to 23.com. Good night.